Hello everyone, my name is Abhi Bardwaj and I'm back with lecture series on science. Today I'm going to talk about a very brilliant mathematician of all time. His name was Srinivasa Ramanujam. He was born on December 22nd, 1887 in Erode, India, a small village in southern part of India. Shortly after his birth, his family moved to Kumbakonam, where his father worked as a clerk in a cloth shop. It is said that Ramanujam attended a local grammar school um, at a high school and started demonstrating extraordinary skills in mathematics. When he was 15, he got hold of an out-of-date book called Synopsis of Elementary Results in pure and applied mathematics. Ramanujam studied this book obsessively solving thousands of theorems uh, within this book and also creating many of his own. At the end of his high school, he was such an amazing uh, student of mathematics that he obtained a scholarship uh, to the government college in Kumbakonam. It is said that Ramanujam uh, used to love mathematics so much that he would actually ignore other subjects. He lost his scholarship to both the government college and later at the University of Madras because his devotion to math which led ignoring his other subjects. His love for mathematics was so immense that despite these setbacks, Ramanujam continued to <clears throat> make strides in his mathematical work and in 1911 published a 17-page paper on Bernoulli's numbers in Journal of Indian and Mathematical Society. At this time, he was also looking for a job and having a hard time to find one. Seeking help of member of the society, in 1912, Ramanujam was able to secure a low-level uh, job as a shipping clerk with the Madras Port Trust. Here, he was able to build a reputation for himself as a gifted mathematician. Around this time, Ramanujam had become aware of the work of an eminent British mathematician, G. H. Hardy, who himself was a young mathematics genius. He started writing uh, to G. H. Hardy, and uh, it is said that 1913, uh, he shared some of his work. After initially thinking of his letters as hoax, Hardy became convinced uh, of Ramanujam's brilliance, and he was able to secure him a research scholarship both at University of Madras and also at Cambridge. Looking at his work, the following year Hardy convinced Ramanujam to come and study with him at Cambridge. During the uh, subsequent five-year uh, collaboration, Hardy uh, was able to provide the framework to Ramanujam, which resulted in Ramanujam publishing upward of 20 papers on his own and more in collaboration with Hardy. Ramanujam was awarded Bachelor of Science degree for research from Cambridge in 1916 and became a member of Royal Society of London in 1918. Together they started working on a powerful circle method. The circle method has played a major role in subsequent developments in analytic number theory. This discovery led to extensive advances in theory of model forms. Lucy Bernard, professor of mathematics at the University of Illinois, um, says that the theory of model form is where Ramanujam's idea has been the most influential. In the last year of his life, Ramanujam devoted much of his failing energy to a new kind of function called mock theta functions. He says that although after many years of research, uh, we can prove the claims that Ramanujam made, but we are far from understanding how Ramanujam thought about them. A lot of work still needs to be done as his theorems have many applications. For example, they have application to the theory of black holes in physics as well. Years of hard work and growing sense of isolation and exposure to the cold but English climate uh, soon took toll on uh, Ramanujam's health and in 1917, unfortunately, this uh, brilliant mathematician uh, contracted tuberculosis. After a brief period of recovery, his health worsened and in 1919, he returned to India. The man who knew infinity, Ramanujam died of his illness on April 26, 1920 at age of 32. Even on his deathbed, he had been consumed by math. 
writing down a group of theorems that he said had come to him in a dream. These and many of his earlier theorems are so complex that full scope of Ramanism legacy has yet to be completely revealed. His work still remains the focus of much mathematical research. His collected papers were published by Cambridge University Press in 1927. Of Ramanism's published paper 37 in total, uh, Burnett reveals that huge portion of his work was left behind in three notebooks and a lost notebook. These notebooks contain approximately 4,000 claims. Most of these claims have now been proved and like his published work, continue to inspire modern day mathematics. A biography of Ramanujam titled The Man Who Knew Infinity was published in 1991 and a movie was also um, made starring Dev Patel as Ramanujam and, uh, and Jeremy Irons as Hardy, which premiered on September 2015 at Toronto Film Festival in Canada. Ramanujam became one of the youngest fellow of Royal Society and only the second Indian member and the first Indian to be elected um, as a fellow of Trinity College, Cambridge. Of his original letters, Hardy stated that a single look was enough to show they could have been written only by a mathematician of the highest caliber, comparing Ramanujam to mathematical geniuses such as Euler and Jacobi. I personally feel that if there was a Nobel Prize in mathematics, Ramanujam would surely have won it. Thank you for watching.